Are you thinking about joining the military? If so, you're gonna wanna watch this video because I'm gonna be going over the top six money tips that I wish I knew about when I first joined. I'll talk about things like credit cards, investing, as well as other finance lessons that I learned along the way. Before we get started, I just wanna say I'm not a financial expert of any kind. I'm just a guy on YouTube who wants to talk about his experience in the military reserves. And I hope that you can learn from the things that I did right, and more importantly, from the things that I did wrong. Let's get into it. Number one is going to be to open up a Navy Federal bank account as soon as you graduate from boot camp or basic training. Navy Federal is just better than Front Wave overall. You know, they have a nice UI. It's really easy to use and, you know, their customer support even thanks you for your service. Pretty much everybody in the military uses Navy Federal and it's for a good reason. One of the big reasons is that they're much more established than Front Wave. So if you're going to be using other money services like Zelle, uh, you know, Venmo, as well as transfers from different bank accounts, you're you're more than likely going to be able to find a way to send and receive money through Navy Federal than Front Wave. Navy Federal also has a ton of branches that are all over the US. And for me, I'm in the Orange County slash LA area. And the area that I'm in, the only Front Wave locations are in San Diego. Front Wave is also available to anybody that applies. Meanwhile, Navy Federal only accepts military members. If you sign up for Navy Federal, they're going to ask you for documentation. So yeah, Navy Federal is pretty much specialized for military members. Out of all the times that I had a call customer service, they were really great. And I never even had to call back because all of my issues were always handled within one phone call. So what I recommend is as soon as you get out of boot camp or basic training, just go on to navyfederal.org and sign up as soon as you can. You're also going to want to switch your my pay onto your Navy Federal account. This way, all of your military pay gets sent to your Navy Federal account instead of your front wave. They also have a really cool feature within the app where they show you what you're going to get paid. You can see scheduled transactions as well as any other finance events that are happening in the military. So I have my Navy Federal app pulled up right here. And just to show you guys an example, I'm going to click on the scheduled transactions and it's going to pull up the calendar. And then from here, like let's say on the 29th, uh, there's going to be early military funds available. So members with active duty checking accounts will receive their direct deposit net pay one business day early. So yeah, super good information to have. And those are just some of the reasons why Navy Federal is better than front wave. Okay, number two on the list is going to be invest as early as possible. Now, when I say invest, I don't mean invest into like real estate, stocks, or crypto. All of that stuff is good to invest in, but I'll cover that stuff more in a different video. For this video, what I mean by investing is actually investing in yourself. Now, these are things like books, uh, courses, and just using whatever free time that you have and spending that on improving yourself. Now, if you don't have the money to buy these things, then you can A, get a job, or you can B, pick a side hustle. There's a ton of things that you could do nowadays online. For example, you can go onto Craigslist and just search for online jobs near me. You'll find that there are a ton of opportunities and there are also a ton of in-person side hustles that you could do. You could do food delivery like DoorDash. You could drive people around on Uber and Lyft. This is actually what I did when I first came back from bootcamp. And I'm really grateful for that experience because it taught me a lot about hustling and it gave me some money to be able to spend it on things that I needed. So if you're on the active duty side, then all you have to do is just save a little bit of your paycheck every month and you can just spend that money on books, education, courses, and things like that. If you're a reservist, then you're going to want to get a job or a side hustle. There are a ton of civilian jobs out there that really like military members and they pay pretty decently for the work that you have to do. For example, there's security, which is super easy to apply to. You can go to private security agencies or you can go to regular ones like Allied Universal. And yeah, when I came back from boot camp, I did things like DoorDash and I worked security. And those were the two jobs that allowed me to be really flexible with my time while I did college. Okay, number three on the list is to actually apply for the military star card as soon as you can. If you're like me and you join the military right out of high school, then you don't have any credit. The star card is a great option for beginners. I believe they gave me a $1,000 credit limit starting out and I had no credit history whatsoever. I would use this every month when I went to drill on small things at the PA like a sandwich and I paid it off in full every month before it was due. This really allowed me to get ahead of the credit game compared to a lot of other people that I went to boot camp with that never got the card. Having good credit early on is really what allowed me to move out on my own at 19. And now that I'm 20 years old, I have a pretty good credit score and now I'm in my new apartment. So I would say that credit is a pretty big thing. So I would say for all of you reservists out there that want to move out on your own, really look into building your credit score. Now I do have a video on my channel on the basics of credit where I cover the factors that affect your credit score as well as how you can get started. So I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to check that video out. One thing that I want to say about the star card that I learned recently is that it has a zero 
0% APR on military clothing. So if you just got out of MCT or MOS school and you're thinking of getting that new pair of, you know, Dana Reckonings, then I highly suggest that you wait until you apply for the star card and then use the card to buy the clothes. 0% APR basically means that there is no interest on the item that you're paying for. And I think the limit is at $1,000, meaning you could spend that $300 on the new boots and then pay it off whenever you want with no interest on it. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to check out if you want to learn more about the star card. All right, number four, this one's a pretty big one and it's going to be don't finance a car that you can't afford. This means don't buy that Mustang or that Camaro with, you know, over 16% interest on it. It's a running joke in the military that a ton of people do that, but it actually happens pretty often and you don't want to be the one because it's going to ruin your finances. I strongly recommend only buying used cars, but if you have to finance a car, then I recommend going with the 24-10 rule. Basically, the rule goes that you put 20% down on a four-year loan and whatever amount comes out to your monthly car bill should be no more than 10% of your monthly income. So if your monthly car payment is going to be above that 10%, you basically can't afford it according to this rule. So I recommend keep working that job or keep working that side hustle and save up until you have enough money to buy a used car that's reliable and that'll last you for a while. Okay, moving on to number five, we have an important mindset to have and this is think long term. Thinking in the short term only yields temporary results, right? For example, going to that vending machine and you know buying that Gatorade or that snack. In the short term, it'll give you some enjoyment, but you can easily get carried away and you know just keep buying it every single day. And this is how your expenses can easily add up. I personally saw this a ton while I was at MOS school, where a ton of Marines in my platoon would just go to the vending machine every single day and buy snacks that they really didn't need. And I'm really glad that I didn't indulge as much as them because when everybody left the schoolhouse, they were all talking about how much they had left since boot camp. And I quickly realized that I was in the minority when I said that I had over $10,000. And this doesn't just have to apply to money, it could also apply to your well-being. I know a ton of military members that started drinking and vaping after the schoolhouse. And the one thing that I have to say to that is just try to have some self-respect. You just graduated from boot camp or basic training. You know, it's probably the hardest thing that you just went through physically and mentally. And you really don't want to throw all of that down the drain just to fit in. It's important to take care of your body because, you know, in the military, you're going to have service-related injuries anyways. So why make it worse by, you know, vaping and, you know, drinking until you black out? So take care of yourself in terms of money and your health. And in the long term, your body and your wallet will thank you for it. All right, number six is going to be to try everything and don't settle until you find something that you deserve. I've heard countless stories from my Marines where they're working a job that doesn't give them the fulfillment that they need or just doesn't pay them as much as they deserve. My advice for this is always the same and it's to keep trying new things until you find something that you love or deserve. It's very easy to just get comfortable and complacent and stay at a job that pays you decently. But I always say it's worth it if you have the mental fortitude. And I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to leave where you are now to find a better place. Everyone deserves to live a life doing what they want to do, getting paid what they deserve. So if that's not you, I say kick it to the curb and move on. Back when I was still in college right after boot camp, I did everything and anything that I wanted while I still had time. And I recommend this for everybody else that's still young in the military to just try everything. I think the number one thing that stops a lot of people is that they just have so many options. They don't know which one to choose. And one one thing that's really helped me overcome this was just to choose something and then go for it. It doesn't have to be perfectly planned out. All you have to do is just take the step forward, put 100% into whatever you do, and no matter what, you're going to learn from the experience. All in all, just keep trying things until you find something that you love, because ultimately this is much more important than the money. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys were able to get some useful knowledge out of it, and if you did, then please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. My goal with this channel is to share all of my experiences in the Marine Corps Reserve, as well as on the civilian side. So yeah, I just want to help out all active duty and all military members from all branches. Feel free to leave a comment down below asking any questions. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. So with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you have a meritorious Monday.